In this video from Fidel Yuko, we explain what tectonic plates are. Furthermore, you'll discover the types of tectonic plates, why they move, and the consequences of their formation. Let's get started. What are tectonic plates? In simple terms, we can define tectonic plates as fragments of the lithosphere, meaning fragments of the Earth's solid outer layer, which can be up to 100 kilometers thick. Tectonic plates are suspended in a viscous layer called the asthenosphere, a layer that allows for lateral movement or displacement of the plates. The plates are considered rigid, as they interact with each other laterally without deforming, except for their edges, which undergo considerable modifications. Furthermore, the lithosphere is composed of 14 major tectonic plates and 46 secondary tectonic plates. The difference between major and secondary plates lies in their size, with major plates being larger. Types of plates, based on the type of Earth's crust that forms them, tectonic plates can be oceanic or mixed. Oceanic plates are composed of oceanic crust, which is thin and primarily made up of basic composition with higher proportions of iron and magnesium. It is generally submerged in the water of the oceans in its entirety. On the other hand, mixed plates are mainly composed of continental crust and, to a lesser extent, oceanic crust. As continental crust predominates in their composition, some refer to them as continental plates. Most tectonic plates are of this type. Additionally, tectonic plates can be classified based on the type of boundary or edge they have. Divergent boundary, convergent boundary, and transform boundary. Before we before we continue, let's put you to the test. Which of these is not a tectonic plate? A. Caribbean plate. B. Atlantic plate. C. Scotia plate. Think it over carefully, because at the end of the video, you'll be able to check if you got it right. Why do tectonic plates move? The exact reason for the movement of tectonic plates is still not known. What is certain is that plate tectonics is a modern theory that emerged between 1960 and 1970 and is still under development. However, factors that contribute to the sliding of the plates have been identified. One of the key factors in plate movement is related to temperature, more precisely the geothermal gradient, as it creates favorable conditions for movement a very viscous lithosphere capable of flowing over a less viscous asthenosphere. Furthermore, the geothermal gradient across the planet is entirely heterogeneous, resulting in the crust being composed of materials with different densities. Indeed, the different movements of tectonic plates are generated by gravitational forces acting on materials with different densities that make up the crust. Consequences of plate movement the movements of tectonic plates have multiple effects, primarily at their edges and in areas near the edges. For example, volcanoes originate from magma ascending during the separation caused by plates with divergent boundaries, as well as from the subduction of plates with convergent boundaries. Another example is earthquakes, tremors, or seismic events, which occur due to the collision of plates at convergent boundaries and also due to the friction between plates at transform boundaries. Finally, another example is mountain formations. During the abduction process of plates at convergent boundaries, they collide, resulting in folds and distortions at their edges. Mountains and mountain ranges are formed as a result of these folds and distortions. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you fought it over? The correct answer is B. The Atlantic Plate does not exist. Tell us, do you now have a better understanding of what tectonic plates are? Until next time, ecologists. <laughs>